2016. Um, would everybody please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance of the Flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, a roll, a vote shall be taken to excuse members unable to attend due to extenuating circumstances. We would like to excuse Commissioner Barnes and Chairman Gray. Do I hear a motion? Uh, Madam Chair, I move that we excuse uh, Chairman uh, Bray and Chairman um, Vice Chair Barnes at this time. All in favor or opposed? Aye. 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 Um, approve the drafts of the minute of the Planning and Zoning Commission meeting held uh, June 15th, 2016. Do I hear a motion? Aye. Madam Chair, I move that we approve the minutes from the June uh, 15th, 2016 meeting. Okay. Point of order, can we get a second as well on these? I second. Okay. Wonderful. Jason moved and Janet Sorry, Commissioner Kish moved and Commissioner Keyes seconded. Do I hear a motion to approve the draft minutes of the planning and zoning meeting for June 15, 2016? I move that we approve the meeting from, from June 15, 2016. Do I hear a second? Aye. All in favor or opposed? Aye. Aye. Now is the time for citizens who would like to address the Planning and Zoning Commission on any non-agenda items. Are there any speaker cards? No, ma'am, there is not. Okay. This is an opportunity for any for ex parte disclosure of any ex parte communications. This is an opportunity for commission members to disclose any ex parte communications that they have had prior to this meeting on any items scheduled for discussion on the agenda. Old meeting, old business, none. New business. The case we'll be hearing this evening is case number 16-500-00002. A preliminary plat for Australia Mountain Ranch, parcel 3.14, presented by the planner, Alex. Thank you, Chairman, members of the commission. Um, good evening. Uh, parcel 3.14 is located in Australia Mountain Ranch on the northwest corner of Australia Parkway in San Miguel. Um, to the west, um, I don't have a mouse, but to the west of the site, you can see the quarry wash that runs through Australia. Uh, on the north side, uh, there's a site zoned for, for a church, a future church, and some residential areas as well. Um, to the east and south, you can see that there's a little strip that's um, an electric easement. <clears throat> that runs through the site. <laughs> All right, so this is this is that electrical easement. Um, as you can see on the plat, um, the layout of the lots does not require any alterations to those existing easements. Um, they did utilize some open space, or they did maintain those easements um, and still utilize a lot of open space within the plat. Uh, Newland has decided to utilize a single family detached product, which was permitted by the zoning of the site, which was approved in 2007. The entire parcel itself is about 14.43 acres, um, but the, with the easements, uh, only about 10 acres is usable space. The subdivision of parcel 3.14 creates 44 single family detached lots with minimum lot sizes of 50 by 100 feet. 
effect E is right located right in the center. Zoom all the way there. Um, that's the open space uh, recreation center, or it's not a, rec a recreation center, excuse me. Um, it is zoned on the preliminary plat as a uh, site used for recreation, so a tot lot, um, some arlamata, some, some usable space out there. Um, landscaping may occur within the gas easement, and it does um, back up against these lots, but um, it is not allowed in the electric easement. That concludes my presentation, and we recommend approval. Would the applicant like to address the commission? Good evening, Commissioner and Commission members. Just all I wanted to say really was I wanted to thank everyone for coming in tonight because I know this was the only thing on the agenda. And, uh, and I'm sure everyone has a little bit better things to do. So thank you, everybody. and. Appreciate you considering this. Would anybody in the audience like to speak? Can I have a motion and a second? Uh, Madam Chair, I move that we approve um, item number 16500-0002, uh, preliminary plat for a Stray Mountain Ranch parcel 3.14. Do I have a second? I second. Is there any commission discussion? I actually have a question, if I may. Uh, I don't know if this is best for, for which one of you, but am I correct that the uh, property to the north, that the density is less? Thank you, Commissioner Walters. Um, Good question. I don't know off the top of my head. Do you Is there any particular considerations that go into putting a higher density product up against a lesser density product? I'd be curious about any considerations that go into that uh, planning. Thank you, um, Chairman, Commissioner, if I may. Um, you are correct. The, certainly the lot sizes are bigger in the parcel to the north. Um, the general plan for the city talks about a graduated density concept, meaning that um, we do encourage um, you know, a graduation from lower density, larger product to higher density as you get closer to things such as um, maybe commercial areas. This particular parcel is on the um, corner of an arterial and a major collector street. So this is an area where it may make sense to have a little bit more density. Um, so we, we definitely, um, us and um, the applicant would both look at those kind of things. That's something that's typically looked at more at the zoning stage of you know what density and um, products make sense compared to the surrounding areas where at the plat stage we typically make sure that the um, lots that are being created match the zoning. Um, that's an excellent question and um, you know we'd be happy to talk more about that too in general and stuff with the commission. Okay. Madam yeah. Chairman if I may also mm -hmm. piggyback on that comment. If you look on the image that's on the screen in front of you you'll also notice an existing 45 foot track that's north of the proposed lots and south of the existing lots. So that indicates, um, back in 2007 I wasn't here, but that indicates to me that there was anticipated um, some different densities on this parcel 3.14 and that this um, is not an alteration of the original intent. Thank you. Is there any more commission discussion? No, thank you. I just wanted to clarify that just so everyone um, um, knew that track is actually, um, if you can move that over to the right hand side, so that is the So um, right about the corner, there, there's a um, some some drainage pipe coming through underneath the street, and then there's a wash 
that wraps around the back of lots 23, 24, 22, down to 19. Thank you. So there is a motion and second on the floor, unless you all have additional questions. You can certainly take your vote now. All in favor or opposed? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? The motion passes unanimously. And this concludes the public hearing for case number 16-500-00002. Are there any staff communications? Chairman Maloney, I just want to um, thank you for um, stepping in. Um, it's not easy when we have both the chair and the vice chair absent. And um, I think you've been on the commission a year and a half now. Is that correct? You and, and Commissioner okay. Kish, and it's hard to believe you're the most senior members already. So um, <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> so um, I, I'm, I'm sure the chairman and vice chairman appreciate you stepping in in the role, and um, thank you very much. There being no further business to discuss, this meeting is adjourned. Whoop. Um, Ms. Madam Chairman, if I can, we always just give you an update about the actions that you took place before. So this is just informational. Um, no action by the commission or anything. But... Um, at the last meeting, you all had made a recommendation to approve the Goodyear Assisted Living PAD Amendment to the council. Uh, that went on to the council on, uh, I think it was June 27th, I believe. Um, anyway, it was, um, it went to the council and was approved um, you know, on July 11th. Excuse me. Thank you, Alex. Um, and then the special use permit to facilitate the new multi-purpose building at, at the St. John Divine Church um, was also unanimously approved by the council. And then as a follow-up update, if you remember Compass Church, you heard as a commission back in the fall, um, winter, and um, that actually came before the council for deliberation on the 27th of June. And the council, after, after some um, uh, deliberations recommended approval with some stipulations um, such that the driveway could be put in had to be uh, was allowed to be open at certain times for church services and things of that nature and then also um, pending uh, roadway improvements on Van Buren because the city is executing the CIP project to widen Van Buren and so that very may very well alleviate some of the traffic concerns that the neighbors have also had. So there were some stipulations there. I'm just giving you a high level, not running through all the details of all of the stipulations, but fundamentally they approved it with some stipulation. Thank you. So um, one other informational update for you. We were gonna do it this month, but we wanted to include our chairman and vice chairman in um, our presentation. Back in late spring, um, we as a planning division took a one and a half, two day, uh, what we call advance, because we didn't retreat. We didn't back up, we're going forward. And um, we deliberated on two projects in order, because we have some really talented staff that have some great ideas and a lot of history in order to really um, make some meaningful, some topics and make some projects, potential projects and make some meaningful improvements in the city. And so we uh, actually uh, went off site and did that in town. We didn't go anywhere, we were just in town, but out of the office and collaborated as a team on two different projects. One being sort of the city center Bullard area and the other being West Goodyear. And so uh, we have work product that we created as a result of that. We made a presentation to the city manager's office and uh, they were excited about it. And 
ultimately uh, the mayor uh, asked us to present to the council, which we did. And so we also want to share some of that with you. Um, and so in August, we'll have a, a particular work session, um, either before or after the meeting, we'll figure that out, um, to present uh, this work product to you as well and get your input and feedback. Great. Awesome. So um, it's really the, uh, we, Katie and I didn't do a whole lot other than just get everybody together and clear some calendars, uh, the, the ideas and the work product and the solutions and concepts and energy and so forth that was all generated by our staff and we're really excited about this, these moving forward with these. Thank you for your hard work and it's really cool to work with such forward thinking optimistic people here. It's really awesome. Thank you. It makes good you're awesome. It makes good you're a fun place to live. Exactly. So that concludes my remarks so thank you. Okay. I already hit the gavel, though. Yes, you already hit Should the I gavel. Should I hit it again? You like to hit it. Just hit it. There you go. There this you meeting go. is adjourned. <laughs> <laughs>